Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is a how-to video on how I styled Emery's hair. Um, the braids were in there previously. All I did was just freshen it up and do the baby hair. So if you would like to watch the video to see how I styled Emery's hair, please be sure to stay tuned. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe and Leave a comment below on what future videos that you would like to see on how I style Emery's hair. All right, so first things first, I wanna make sure that Emery is well entertained. She has some educational things. And starting off, we're gonna use a Shea Moisture Strengthening um, Leave-In Conditioner, a water concoction that I made, and um, a small uh, detailed toothbrush and a small edge brush and a regular brush and a comb if you would like the recipe for the detangling moisturizing um concoction that i made right, leave a comment trace. below like this say a b c no. oh okay i'll let you do it Right, Z. Woo. All right. Let's put on some sesame for you. Say sesame. All right. So first things first, I want to make sure that Emily is well entertained. That way, um, we don't go through any issues during the process of me doing our hair. So I, I spritz her hair to ensure that when I'm detangling it, I'm not causing damage to her hair, any breakage. I add Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Uh, first thing I do is spritz the brush with the concoction that I made of water and then I add the um, leave-in conditioner to the toothbrush and then I um, brush our edges forward in a, um, how can I say it, a um, visually pleasing way, nothing fancy, just brush them forward and make it look cute. So getting into the remaining portion of her hair, I'm going to use the larger edge brush for her hair to uh, detangle it and really help define each curl. Um, I call this curl training. Um, I don't know if that's a technical uh, term for, for it, but um, I'm brushing out each curl a section at a time and then I'm just wrapping my finger around it to really help define that curl. Um, also note that there is the um, water detangling concoction that I made uh, along with the leave-in conditioner that I put in the uh, larger edge brush. Um, that way each curl is well moisturized um, once it sets. Um, then I will go ahead and really help bring those curls out to make her uh, afro a little bit bigger. Um, but we're not gonna go too far into that yet. Um, so like I said, I'm just doing each curl, one curl at a time, brushing them through and just wrapping my finger around it to really help uh, accentuate each curl and um, volumize it or define it rather. So that's me dipping into the um, leave-in conditioner. And then in this section, I am doing the same process over again. So I'm grabbing that section, brushing through it, making sure I get all the tangles out and taking each curl one at a time to help define it and wrapping my finger around it.
Now for moms, um, I'm not sure uh, if many people know, but um, for me, I like to place emphasis on just being as gentle as possible. I know it may look like I'm being a little rough, but honestly, Emery doesn't feel anything. Um, I try to be very, very gentle. So whenever I'm combing her hair out, I ensure that um, I start with the ends of her hair and work to the root. Um, for whenever she has uh, any tangles. I know towards the back of her hair or in the middle uh, back section, that's where she tends to have um, a little bit of uh, breakage and um, whatnot. So that would be the reasoning for me. Um, always just, you know, giving her hair a rest and doing the finger curls or the braids. So again, I'm just working at the uh, end of her hair and just working as much as I can to get to the root. So I start at the end of her hair and then I work to the root and then I just make sure whenever I grab it that I hold it uh, tight. That way whenever I'm detangling the ends of her hair, um, she doesn't feel any discomfort or pain. And always make sure that you um, wet the hair or dampen it slightly before you start combing it and then once all the tangles are combed out then I add the leave-in conditioner to the comb and then I just comb through from uh, the roots of her hair to the end and then I go in and I do each curl one at a time wrapping my finger around the hair to help that curl um, just really come to life. Side note, if you hear a dog in the background, that is my neighbor. I apologize um, about the barking, but I mean, hey, you can only do so much. So just giving you guys a heads up. I apologize. Which one is purple? Yeah, can you show me the purple? Purple. Is this purple? Purple. Purple.
Now that I'm done with Emery's hair, I'm just going to go in with the bow to add a little zhuzh to it, a little girly touch. And then I'm going to look through her curls to see if there are any um, finger curls that are too big um, and just kind of separate them to, you know, make it look like more individualized curls. Um, and just kind of go through and make sure that it adds a little bit of volume because by this time her curls have kind of dried a little bit because you know I just dampened her hair it's not full-on wet And that's pretty much it that's how Emery's hair is styled um, and next I will show you a video recap of how Emery's hair looked So if you guys like the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. That way um, I can get my subscribers up. And uh, leave a comment below on what hairstyles that you would like to see in the future. Um, also be sure to add me on different social media platforms. They are listed on the video and in the uh, descriptions below. And I look forward to seeing you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe.